Hi and welcome to another Food for Thought. My name is Jodie Bunting, this is Claire and today we're doing another Food for Thought, a daily lifestyle tip to help you lose weight and today stay stress free. I thought today, I thought it was about food. No, food for thought is anything to think about. I would like some food to try. So this is Claire and she often gets stressed guys. One of the stresses out of just life generally, especially people who maybe do have a busy lifestyle, and that's losing things. Do you lose things? Do you lose things? Every five minutes. I lose things, okay? So this is where we can count on technology to help us. Now, last year, Apple released these. So this is called an AirTag. And what it is, is a wireless tracker you can see, you can personalise it with a letter on, uh, and it's got the little Apple logo. I don't even know that. And these are air tags. Uh, hi, Tina. Welcome to the live video. Uh, Christina's here as well. Yeah. Uh, welcome, Kay. Hi, guys. Welcome to the live video. So this is an air tag. Mummy's here too. Hi. <laughs> so what you can do then, you can put it in. You can either just keep it on you or whatever you want to track. Or you can get one of these little key rings and I've attached it to my keys. So, let's just imagine, oh, I've lost my keys. How am I going to find my keys? <laughs> so, <laughs> so what we do is we open the app on the, on you, if you've got an Apple device, you open the app called Find My. Okay, so when you open Find My, it's the little location tracker. So if you location. lose... Location tracker. What well, you said's not a word. Huh? You said location. Okay. Right. Because so very bad. if you've lost your iPad or your laptop or something like that, <laughs> then I can track where my devices are. So, for instance, I can see my iMac is at home. So, is at the bottom here, you've got something called items. Now, I've already set up my Apple tracker on here. So, I'm tracking my keys, my wallet. Keith's scooter and my mum's keys, okay? So I've got four of these trackers and those are the four things that I've got attached. So, I want to find my keys. So if I click on my keys, first of all, I can make that tracker play a sound. So I just click on play sound. Okay, so you could find... Can you get louder? No, that's it. Because you don't want to like deafen people, do you? Well, what if you're deaf? Then this not this is not the device for you. Sorry, people, slivers. Okay, so that's how to find it by sound. Now there's an even more advanced way. So this would be for blind people, and that is to click find. Now what it does is then connects to the device. Now that device <laughs> can connect via Bluetooth to other people's phones or wireless any wireless network as well. Um, now I'm hoping this is going to work. Oh yeah, so it says I'm five feet away and if I hold my phone there, it will tell me exactly where it is. So it's telling me it's in that direction, four feet away. And as I go closer, it obviously tells me it's that three work feet. For blind people don't be able to see the phone. Oh yeah, deaf people, I mean. You're an absolute idiot. Okay. Sorry, people, if you're watching the video. So that is how stupid. that Apple One works. Now, the bad side to these <laughs> Apple trackers are, for one, it's £29, and you can buy a pack of four for £99. Now, what do you think to that price? It's very high. And another problem is, if I'm ever walking with you, it tells me I'm near a tracker, I'm near a tracker, I'm near a tracker. Yeah, there is some... It fucking pisses me off. No swearing, please. I'm swearing. Right, so there is some issues with uh, privacy. But the benefits of having lost your keys or something like that... Can, finding keys a benefit. Yeah, can, you, you know, <laughs> if you do often lose things, it's often more positive than negative. But obviously, if you have privacy issues, again, this is not the item for you. So, price-wise, price -wise, guys, this is a little bit of an issue. Um... But Poundland have come up with this solution. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is brand new this week at Poundland and it's called the Vido Wireless Tracker £4. So instead of £29, it's £4. Now I have promised Claire that I would buy her a wireless tracker for a long time. And when I saw this this week, I thought, yes, 
This is got literally Your got birthdays coming, people, and then you got me this four pound gift. <laughs> this is Claire's gift. I and went they... around the whole of Westfield searching for his birthday gift, and he's brought me this before my birthday four pound. Now they do it in black and white. People and don't this... be jealous because this is what the shit I get. This is a picture here of what you can do with it. So it shows you you can use the app that you can download it on, which is for Android and Apple devices. You can attach it to your purse. You can attach it to your keys, and then this is the best one, Claire. You can attach it to your cat. <laughs> but how will it stay on her? Because it's got a little hook look. So you can literally just hook it straight onto keys. Uh, yes, Christina was confused about the blind comment. I meant deaf. Literally, don't, em don't right. employ him for disability. Now, I haven't opened this. I haven't set it up or anything like that. We're going to do it all live right here, go to right the now. With Craig. It's not. This is going to be a successful video. So this is the product, and this is what it looks like. Now, the good news is, look how small it is. Can you see how tiny that is? So it's actually smaller, I think, than the Apple one. Now, I don't know yet about the how long it lasts, but that Apple one, they last three years. It isn't rechargeable, so you do have to buy a new one after three that's, years. That's, that's the best thing, though, that, that you don't have to recharge it, because you know what I'm like. Yeah, so for three years. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the little tag out to activate it, and it seems to have uh, fallen, <laughs> fallen apart. No, it's okay. Uh, so again, let's have a little closer look, guys, of what it actually no, looks like. I'm just going to get rid of that. So can you attach it to your keys, please, Claire? Uh, no. Why? I've got nails. I just literally... Just about on that key ring, look. Okay, so... Why have you asked me stupid questions like that? So these are Claire's work keys, which she's always fretting about. She's always worried that she has lost them. It's because I, I quite often go straight from work on a Friday to some event. You know what I'm like? Always out and about. Joe's like, come on, quick. You know, no drink for me. This morning I've had to drink this small sachet of milk. <laughs> so there is the tracker on Claire's keys. So you just have a little look at that. And I'm going to read the setup instructions. Oh, no, I don't like how you've done that. Though. Which I might need a uh, magnifying glass for. Shall I read it for you, look? How are your eyes? It's good, look. My eyes are very good, don't you worry. Right. So tracking instructions. Shall I read it? Go on, then. Where? Okay, this product is wireless device which uses the iSearch application. This can be downloaded from previous application stores, preferred application stores by typing iSearching. So we need to download an app first. Do you want to do that? So has any of you guys got one of those? We have don't you, have time to go Primark the power lander. Have you got one of these trackers? Uh, I know a lot of different companies are doing them right now, so it's not just Apple, but have you got one? Do you use one? Uh, Aaron is saying, just finished work, sick days done, overtime last night, uh, 6 p.m. till 6 a.m., wow, 12 hours. And yes, we're reading your comments, uh, Aaron. As I said, we're just setting up this tracker and hopefully we can show you how easy it is to do. Now, what are you downloading the yeah. app? Right, so Claire is now downloading the app. And as I said, it should be nice and easy. Now, one thing I did notice when I was opening this device, it does open and there are batteries in these ones as well. So the good news is... Unlike the Apple ones that you'd have to throw away after three years, this one it looks like you can replace the batteries, okay. which is very good news. Right, what's the next instruction, Claire? Okay. Turn on and hold down the function button for at least three seconds. This product will beep twice. Right, so just hold it down for three seconds. It's now bleeped twice. To turn off, hold down, and just for the same, basically. Okay. Using the app. Open the app on your smartphone, making sure to allow to follow notifications. Tap the magnifying glass. I don't see any magnifying glass. Right, so just to confirm, there is a blue flashing light on this. This is why I was holding it close. Can you see that? So obviously, you can turn that off if you don't want to be tracked. So again, you can't do that with Apple. You can't actually turn it off once you've set it up. It's tracking all the time. Um, I'm 
I'm not sure whether a cat would like this flashing around the <laughs> neck. All right. Connect. So Claire's downloaded the app. I'll She's now going to connect. Then I'm gonna... Right, it says connecting. Click alarm. Oh, I think it's finding your one. Because it says it should be called vid Vidon Tracker. And what's it saying? Eye tracker. Is it on? Yeah. Are you sure you didn't turn it on? Try and. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's connecting. So that's basically it. Is that set up then? To find the result, make the tracker beep to find the item. Tap cancel once the item is found. But how did it connect? How does it know that this is your tracker and not someone else's tracker? Don't know, do it. Right, so this is what the app looks like. So let me go into settings. Oh, look, it can find your location history as well. Right, so Claire's keys. We're gonna give it a name. Um, alarm when disconnected, so we'll put that on. You can even change the ringtone as well. And again, that is to click. And the good news is that's actually louder than my one, isn't it? Yeah, but look, it says you could, when you park in your car, press the tracker button once to mark the current location. Press the location history button to find your vehicle. If the tracker is lost, use the lost history and pin will show the tracker location. So that was it guys, it's literally just set up instantly like that. You can use it for photos as well, look. To take photos? Yeah. To use the remote shutter for photos, select camera, press the tracker button to take a photo. Genius. I feel there's a lot more features on this one than the, uh, the Apple Let's ones. Let's try it, look. And as I said, those are just £4 from... Could we take a photo and try it out? Uh, Aaron is saying, what the hell is this tracker for? So Aaron, we were just saying earlier on in the video, if you lose your keys or you often lose your bag or something like that, or you're worried about your bag getting stolen when you go on holiday, uh, this is what these trackers are for. You can also put it on your cat, okay? So Can we try to take the photo, Dirk? There's lots of different things. Uh, now let's, Claire wants to try this photo option. Select so, camera, press the tracker button to take the photo. Right, we'll, just, the we'll just open uh, Claire's camera and we'll just see whether we can get this to work, guys. So we're going to use the tracker, the £4 tracker from Poundland, to take a picture. For those of you wondering where we are, we are live in uh, Manchester. Go on then, don't press it. We're just reading the instructions. Select camera, press the tracker button to take the picture. Maybe it only works on Android. I'm not sure. But that's just an additional feature. I feel like there's lots of additional features. Uh, as I said, there's loads of them, uh, Kay. Um, so hopefully there will be lots of them. Uh, they're in the technology section. So the bit where all the charging wires are, stuff like that, uh, you'll see them. And as I said, they do them in black and white uh, has claire just been to the spa in that robe no we've got a jacuzzi bath in our room here wash in manchester you know, I like to wash me uh so claire's just enjoyed a nice sunday I'm just trying morning to we, bath we had a lovely dinner last night everyone i don't can we tell people about that online? no oh. and this is why the, the uh windows are a bit steamed up because she's straight from the jacuzzi Right, guys, thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next time. If you're watching on YouTube, leave us a comment, like the video, share the video, and again, if you're watching on YouTube, click subscribe. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next time.